Hello guys, it's always a privilege to come to you every now and then. Today we are looking at R&D and we all know what R&D is. R&D simply means religious and moral education. And from our previous lessons, we were made to understand that it is good that the human being is brought up holistically. And for that matter, your spiritual life is concerned, your social and physical life is also concerned. And so, religion simply means man's relationship with God. So as a human being, you need to have a relationship with your Creator. Moral, as you and I know, is about good behaviors, behaviors that are acceptable in the society. And education talks about training. So you and I are supposed to be trained well, to have a good relationship with our Creator and a very good relationship with our fellow human beings. So in our strength today, we are going to look at the family, authority and obedience. The family, authority and obedience. And our substrand will be authority and obedience. So it will be broken down into smaller details when we come to the content standard. So basically, one may ask, what is a family? Yes, you remember. So a family is basically people who are related or people living together who are related either by blood, marriage or adoption. When we say by blood, it means you are born into that family. When we say by marriage, it is when a man and a woman come together with the consent of their families to live together as a husband and wife. But when we say by adoption, it simply means that bringing in somebody whom you have not given birth to. That is when the husband and the wife agree to bring in somebody who they have not given birth to, to come and live with them. It could be a family relation, either a niece or a nephew, or somebody they have no blood relations with and they go to bring the person. That is adoption. So quickly, we want to look at authority. What is authority? Authority also means the legal or the right power over something. So we can say that your parents have authority over you. Why? Because they gave birth to you. So they have the legal and the rightful power to control your affairs. That is why your parents can ask you not to do this and also tell you to do that. Because they have total control over you and that is authority. Quickly we will look at obedience. What is obedience? Obedience simply means listen to instructions. Obedience, it simply means listen to instructions. I always say listen to instructions, it means you hear and do. That is the meaning of listen, hear and do. You don't just hear and sit down, but you hear and do. So prompt response is what we refer to as obedience. When your father calls you, I will go to the room and get me my mobile phone. You don't sit down and do that after 30 minutes. When you do that, that is not obedience. Even though after 30 minutes you go to bring the phone, it is not obedient. It is the prompt response that qualifies you to be obedient. So today in our substrand, we will limit ourselves to authority and obedience. Because in our previous lessons, we looked at family, even though we will be talking a bit more about it. So in our content standard, we are going to look at the need to obey and submit to authority. The need to obey and submit to authority. What it simply means is that authority or submission to authority is a necessity in our everyday life. Hence, obedience. Obedience is a necessity. It is very, very important that we obey our parents, we obey authority, we obey the elderly, we obey our teachers, we obey people who have control over us. All right, so now back to family before we come down to look at the need, because this has to begin in the family. The need to obey and submit to authority has to begin in the family. Every one of us here belongs to a family. Yes, your immediate family is what we refer to as the nuclear family. Remember the family has two types. Yes, you remember. The nuclear family and the extended family. So your immediate family is your nuclear family. And this nuclear family is made up of father, mother and children. Very good. So the children are later introduced to the extended family. I always say the extended family, I hope you still remember. Yes, it's grandparents, then 
their other nuclear families very good. So nuclear family plus grandparents makes their extended family. And these other nuclear families are families that consist of uncles and aunties. We also have nieces and cousins. All these people come together to make the extended family. You must also remember that we studied in our previous lesson that the coming together of the nuclear family makes the extended family. And the coming together of various extended families makes up a town or a village. Yes. So these other towns and villages also come up to form a country and it grows bigger and bigger like that. So at the end of the day, when obedience and submission is going to be effective, it means that everybody must identify his role and play it well. So the father has their roles, the mothers have their roles, children have their roles to play, and other extended family members have their roles to play. So we'll be looking at the roles of all these members in the family. We'll take them one after the other then we'll break it down to the need the necessity the need to obey and submit to authority so quickly let's look at the role of the father the role of the father what are the roles our fathers plays play in our various families. Yes, our fathers are firstly the breadwinners of our families. They are the number one authority in the family. Your father is the number one authority and he is the breadwinner. When we say the breadwinner, your father makes sure that the family doesn't lack basic necessities and all that the family will eventually want. So the father provides shelter, the father provides clothing, the father provides food, everything that you need, your father makes sure it is provided. Your father pay your school fees, yes, your father pay other utility bills as well. So, we want to pause here today, then the next time we meet, we will list all the rules of our fathers, then we will come and look at the rules of the mother, then the rules of the children. Alright, so remember to always check for the assignments whenever the notes are submitted or posted on the platform. So I'll be expecting to hear from you to see how you are doing as far as this lesson is concerned. Until then, I will say stay safe and keep safe.